Hello everyone, hello everyone, and welcome back to our page of our channel, the most global team. Today we have again Priscilla Shiga. In this video, she will talk about the fact that it is really important to be united in the church because we are the body of Christ. But it is also important for you to be who God wants you to be because you are unique. And please, you can share this video and all the video in our platform so you can bless someone else. And may God bless you as you do. So you are blessed and may God bless you more. See you in the next video. Shalom. Would you just let me read the word of God to you? Listen to verse 13. It says, but now you have been united with Christ Jesus. Once you were far away from God, but now you have been brought near through the blood of Jesus. For Christ himself has brought peace. There's the peace rock to us. He united every group into one group with his own body on the cross. He broke down the wall of hostility that once separated us. He did this by ending one system to put in place another system. Together as one body, Christ reconciled both groups to God by means of his death on the cross. He brought good news of peace to you who were far off and peace to you who were near. Now all of us can come to the Father through the same Holy Spirit because of what Christ has done for us. So now you are no longer strangers or foreigners. You are citizens with God's holy people. You are members of God's holy family. Together we are his house built on a foundation of the apostles and the prophets. He is the chief cornerstone. In other words, we've got ourselves a peace rock. And in these times of deprivation and hunger and thirst, spiritually speaking, in these times where we are so segmented to our own corners, when we are being pitted against one another, it's time that we remain connected to the cornerstone so that we can all come to the living water and drink freely and fully and have our souls satisfied. So if you are a black American like I am so proud to be, then rejoice in your individuality. If you're a white American or a Hispanic American or an Asian American or Native American or wherever you fall on the spectrum of ethnicity, be proud of your individuality, of the unique expression and the unique experiences and the unique, unique style and nuances that are unique to you. Don't assimilate, don't change, be exactly who you are. And let's give each other the margin to be who God has uniquely created us to be. But as my dad would say, unity does not mean sameness. It means oneness of purpose. That even though we're different, we can all come to the water. 